Tommy's involved now, John Eighteen. Eighteen teams, yeah. And uh, uh, how many teams did you start off with? We started off with six. And the training opportunities, we're not just about the footy. I think we've had, since we've been going for the five years, we've had 26 lads through the level one, uh, 18 through the level two. Uh, All right, through the coaching badges, Through yeah. the coaching badges. And we've had uh, 12 referees. Uh, Craig's one of the rest and he's still ref for us. Uh, so it's about giving them opportunities. I mean, football, certainly for, 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 for lads, young lads, and, and you know, and people a bit older, it's a very easy carrot to dangle. Um, what is hard sometimes is to motivate people who are living in hostels or in, involved in a homeless situation. I mean, when you're dealing with homelessness, you're dealing with people who are at the very bottom. I mean, there's not much lower you can drop than having nowhere to live. There's lots of stuff that we do, coaching badges, refereeing courses, uh, we've had media courses organised, you know, we've, we've had people who are, are stewards and stuff like that, you know. So, so it's not just about kicking the ball, it's, there's loads of stuff to it and it also it's just a massive social activity that people are interacting. There's people who come along and don't play and just support the team and, and do whatever, you know what I mean? We deal with a lot of people who are affected by alcohol, by drugs. Uh, we get involved in antisocial behaviour on different levels and having that focus you know, once a month um, to get together and get involved in the sport is something that, you know, if, if we can stop someone who's drinking every day, if we can stop, break up that, that sort of cycle of drinking every day by getting them involved in football for one day and not drinking, or not using drugs, or not getting involved in antisocial behaviour, then I think that's, you know, definitely a step in the right direction. I was released from prison last year on, um, on another prison sentence and went straight into Phoenix Futures for rehab for drug mm. addiction. But every time I come out of prison it was just the same same cycle. Yeah. Just kept going back into the same cycle until I went into Phoenix. And what was it? Was it Phoenix? Was it Phoenix that changed it or was it something in you? Obviously you've got to want to change yourself. Yeah. Phoenix helped me, helped me along the way, yeah, massively. And then having something like this, which breaks up the, the, the monotony of it. Yeah, yeah, we just look forward to it. We all get together. Come, um, come here uh, last week, last Tuesday of every month. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I love it. I thought today was brilliant to be honest with you, I thought it was inspirational because uh, the atmosphere is great, they're obviously supportive of each other and there's a community spirit here and it's all linked in with you know, making sure they get the right nutrition and I think as a project uh, the, the benefits for the cost of running it are outstanding to be honest with you, it really, really was very, very impressed. As we've seen from the lads that we spoke to, it's a, it's a platform that then moves them on to other things in their life and gives them other things to aspire to, which is just brilliant, isn't it?